A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. Jesus said, listen to another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard, put a fence around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a watchtower. Then he leased it to tenants and went to another country. When the harvest time had come, he sent his slaves to the tenants to collect his produce. But the tenants seized his slaves and beat one, killed another, and stoned another. Again he sent other slaves, more than the first, and they treated them in the same way. Finally he sent his son to them, saying, They will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to themselves, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him and get his inheritance. So they seized him, threw him out of the vineyard, and killed him. Now when the owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do to those tenants? They said to him, He will put those wretches to a miserable death and lease the vineyard to other tenants who will give him the produce at the harvest time. Jesus said to them, Have you never read in the scriptures? The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This was the Lord's doing, and it is amazing in our eyes. Therefore I tell you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that produces the fruits of the kingdom. The one who falls on this stone will be broken to pieces and will crush anyone on whom it falls. When the chief priests and the Pharisees heard his parable, they realized that he was speaking about them. They wanted to arrest him, but they feared the crowds because they regarded him as a prophet. Hello, everyone. I'm taking a little break from working on this week's service to uh, just have some playtime here in my office at home. And so I thought that I would try to build a little sponge house. It looked like a fun thing to do, and so I figured I would try it. But eventually I run into a problem. You see, every time I stack so high, it seems to just fall apart. At the beginning it looks good, and then it kind of holds together, but then eventually the whole thing falls down. So far I haven't been successful keeping up my house for very long. And, you know, sometimes it feels like life is this way for me. Like, everything is, you know, everything starts out good, the start of the day. I get up, I do all the things that I need to do in the morning, I have a good breakfast, but then other things start to pile up. There are things to clean up at the house, there is making sure that I get to work on time, there's making sure that I do what I need to do during the day in my office at work. I come home and I need to make sure I feed the chickens and the sheep, and oh, by the way, make sure the family gets fed. And so everything keeps stacking up, stacking up, stacking up. And before I know it, I've stacked up too much, and everything just falls apart. And I know that it's easy for all of us to feel that way. Sometimes school does it to us. Sometimes just being out in the world with this pandemic does it. Sometimes it's listening to the news because it seems like a lot of news we hear is is bad news. And so we can keep it all together for a certain amount of time, but then eventually things fall apart. So I thought I'd take a break from trying to build my sponge house, and I thought about today's reading from the Gospel of Matthew, and Jesus talks about how he is the cornerstone. And I thought about this with building my house, and I thought of it as Jesus being the foundation for a house. Right here, while I'm, I'm building right here, I'm, I'm building on the, this rug, and so it can be hard for everything to, to stay firm and, and collected, and so it falls apart pretty easily because there's not a good foundation. And so I thought I would get a foundation. Now, this is the Bible. It's not Jesus, but the Bible 
is the place where we read and hear about Jesus. It's a book that God's given us with the story of Jesus' life, death, resurrection, and the good news that we are saved and set free because of him. And so, I thought I'd put it here for a foundation for my sponge building. And so, I figured I would try and see sometimes with all these things that pile up, with responsibilities, with fears, with all the things that there are to do, the things we try not to think about. All of these things pile up and up and up. But with Jesus as our foundation, we're able to give things to him when we feel like we can't handle them. We can go to him because he is the one that supports us. He's the one that keeps us all together. And so, at times when I feel like I can't take any more, I say to Jesus, I need you to help me because I can't do it by myself. And you promised me you'd be there. And so, somehow, I managed to keep it all together. Will you pray with me? Dear God, thank you so much for all your gifts. Thank you for the gift of a firm foundation that you have given us, Jesus, to be the cornerstone of our faith and the cornerstone of our lives. Remind us that when it seems hard to keep everything together, when it seems like things might fall apart, be with us. Remind us that we can give our burdens to you. Remind us that you are there to build us up. We thank you for all your gifts, gracious God, especially the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen.